Today's video it's all about two topics that you will probably find very interesting. One is crucible maintenance and the other one is making wedge test moulds. With this crucible I would like to extend the life of it a little bit more. It's had 25 melts and what I'm going to do will probably last about 30 maybe 32 melts. So what the problem is, you see that edge there, that is razor sharp. Now the flame will attack that and what will happen is it will get larger and larger and make a huge cutout like that. So I'll show you how I fix that up. So before I do that I'll explain a few points on how these crucibles tend to wear out. So this is an A12 and I use We'll put in 14 kilograms of cast iron and you can see the level just there that's where the level of the molten metal is when I've finished adding how much I need is 14 kilograms and then the rest is the foam or the slag that foams up it comes up and it tends to come up to about here but also can run over the edge as you can see just there so this is how I determine how the thickness is use a little caliper like that now that's the below the metal line where it doesn't wear so much but then you go across to here as you can see there's a lot of play in there so that's very very thin that's because the active slag actually dissolves the crucible this is the other place where the crucible tends to wear a lot is the outside diameter gets eroded away by the flames and it increases in diameter and you'll notice what I've done here with the shank is I've twisted pieces of wire on there and what the idea of that is so the crucible doesn't sink too far into the ring and makes it awkward to pour but what happened also to me I had to learn the hard way was when I first started melting cast iron I let the top of the crucible it was about here, it was sitting about here and I thought that was enough to hold it but when I started pushing the trolley yep, you know what happened it fell through and the entire contents of the cast iron spilled onto the concrete floor which was fortunate because I was walking forwards the iron spilled towards or away from me so it wasn't too much of a drama but I learned a hard lesson there so this is the idea of these rings and what the idea here you can extend the life but when you have to start doing that you have to think about replacing your crucible so this one extends it for a certain amount because of the wearing in there but also when I clean this up I'll show you it tends to make the crucible lower in height so I can't use as much cast iron as I normally do here is a simple solution to extend the life of the crucible what I'll do is just flip it over and then rub that sharp edge on the concrete floor so it wears it away until the lip of the crucible is a lot thicker that took about 10 minutes of hard rubbing and now we've worn down the lip of the crucible and what I'll do I'll flip it over and we'll do a close up of the lip and see what it looks like this is what the lip of the crucible looks like now it's been reduced in height a little bit but that should last for at least another five melts and then it'll probably start deteriorating again but the other point I was going to make when this crucible has reached that point I will thoroughly clean the inside out and then use it for aluminium right put the crucible in there and you can see the wire is sort of holding it up but the middle of the crucible is about there so what I might have to do that wire might have to use a heavier gauge so the crucible sits slightly higher this is my wedge test mould 
I used to use coarse sand with it and let it harden but I found out it was just as easy to make it out of green sand so I'll show you how we do it Now here is the easy way to do it, you just give it a nice wrap around the edges and there it's done so you think this mould would be very fragile well if you do pour it you've got to pour it with the pouring lip whatever you're pouring the molten cast iron in you've got to keep it as close as possible but if you do it really high like that it's going to damage it and I'll show you this is how easy it is you pick it up see there it is works <laughs>